OMG BBG! What's up BBGs? We are back once again with a Dynamite Battle Unboxing. And of course, it's Random Booster Volume 25. It's crazy, dude. 25 Random Boosters in Beyblade Burst now. It's absolutely insane. Like, it's just, it's getting so high. Dude, by the end of Dynamite Battle, we're gonna definitely hit 30, I think. We're probably gonna hit 30. And then, hopefully, We'll just keep on going, keep on going, and we'll hit like random booster 100 or something. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. So this one here, the prize Beyblade, is Cyclone Ragnarok. So another random booster with a Ragnarok Bay in it. And yeah, this is Ronzo's, Ronzo Kiyama's, so a relative of, you know, the Kiyama Bros. The hairstyles are just getting crazier and crazier. They just get more wild, which is insane. So Ice cream cone this yeah, time. Yeah, man, it's absolutely crazy. So this one here has six bays only, which is actually pretty refreshing. Honestly, when you get a random booster with eight bays, they're pretty much all like throwaways or just like leave, you know, in your collection. You don't really touch them very much, right? So having six is nice. I actually don't mind having less bays because it's mostly random parts anyways, right? Yeah, higher chance of you getting the prize bay. And also this release, I actually have some pretty good um, like side boosters. Exactly. So we got our, of course, Cyclone Ragnarok, right? You get an additional, uh, like a recolor. And then of course you get your Dragoon, right? We get a Dragoon Bay, so all of you OGs that are into Plastic Generation, you're gonna appreciate that. Sick. Yeah, we get Hell Kerpex, Brave, and all that stuff. So like, this is actually a pretty good random booster. Yeah. So let's take a look at the back of the box very quickly here. We have Ragnarok DB Chip, got the Cyclone Blade, and we have a six armor. Get the Giga Disc, and then the Never Driver. And I like to know the Never Driver looks very flat, like from the box. So you would think it's like, oh man, potentially it could be like a very aggressive tip or something, but obviously it's gonna be stamina oriented. But yeah, this is what you get with Random Booster Volume 25. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox it. But right before we do that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. You can find us on Instagram at Geek Dosage and on TikTok at Beyblade Geeks Official. All right, let's open it up. Okay, so we put on all of the stickers right off the bat to show you guys the completed bays. Let's go over what we get. So starting in this top left corner here, we have Brave Wyvern 10 Never 4A. So this one right here, you get that recolor of that Never Driver that's supposed to come with Cyclone Ragnarok. So it's pretty cool that we're getting already a recolor of new parts. And yeah, this driver looks pretty interesting. I really like the Brave Ring. I'm sure a lot of you guys like that as well. Super aggressive, has rubber on it. Next up is a recolor of Hell Kerpex. We get Giga and Wave, so pretty sweet. Um, that Giga Disc is a brand new part as well, right? That comes with the Cyclone Ragnarok combo once again. And yeah, wow, this disc weighs a lot. When you pick it up, you can tell it's just like super heavy. Yo, this colorway though pays respect to the OG like limited edition bay we got in Metal Sega. So that's cool, the blue color. Yeah, it's nice to know that Takara Tomy still remembers. And this is prize bay number two. It's Dragoon V2 Wheel Exceed Dash. And it does come with this additional part. It's a red color of the six armor. So yeah, maybe we'll rock this red one with our actual Cyclone Ragnarok. Yeah, this Dragoon's pretty sweet because it's got stickers on the wheel disc too, and on the driver actually. So not a lot of these like bays, we have stickers on other parts other than the like, energy layer. So. Dragoon redesigns, um, they thought of where to place those stickers on the bottom, so very cool. Yeah, they went all out, and these parts are actually pretty sweet too, so wheel disc, man, packs on that weight. So with this Dragoon prize bay, you actually have the option, we get extra stickers, you can either go with the orange uh, wheel disc stickers or with the blue wheel disc stickers. So yeah, we have some extra ones we can put on our other wheel disc. Next up we have Infinite Death Scyther Universe 1A. So this is pretty sweet because we get this clear version of the Infinite Sword. So yeah, really nice addition here. I'm digging this one. And now here's a recolor of the Prize Bay Lair. So we got Cyclone Ragnarok Nexus Rise 2. So we get that two armor and then yeah, the recolor right off the bat. So you still have a chance of basically completing the Prize Bay combo if you get every other bay except for the prize one. So that's nice to know. Um, it's not gonna be anime accurate, but yeah, I mean, if you really want that Cyclone Ragnarok, you can technically complete that combo here. Maybe that colorway is like another cousin for the Kiyama peeps. Yeah, maybe it's gonna be a Ronzo, like Ronzo's brother or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just like they did for uh, Rantaro and Ranjiro. 
And now onto the prize bay. So basically all the parts that we talked about in this prize bay can be found in all the other ones already, like we mentioned. So Cyclone, Ragnarok, in this orange colorway, so very iconic Ragnarok colors. Let's go ahead and take this bay apart and show you guys the actual details here. Starting off with the DB chip. I don't know guys, looks very Ragnarok, you know what I mean, right? Nothing crazy here. I do like the blue color that they added in for like the surrounding part there. Pops a lot, so it looks really nice. Let's move on over to the blade because of course this part is, you know, redesigned. Looks really good. It looks like we have two very big stamina wings. So those will actually, you know, go outwards when you launch hard enough, right? Help you provide that extra uh, centrifugal force there. And you know, if you're in the anime, this will help you create your tornadoes. So yeah, I don't know, this looks like a very simple design overall, like nothing extraordinary. Glide Ragnarok had the three wings, right? They were smaller, but uh, yeah, I don't know. This... Now you have two big ones. Yeah, you have like two big stamina wings now, instead of like three smaller ones. Moving on over, we have the six armor here. So being that it's number six, I just noticed it actually has like just six main points here with the stickers on them over there. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So. Yeah, maybe that's the reason why that they're calling it that, right? You're not gonna be making much contact with them anyways. It gets tucked in with the rest of the layer combo. I'm really excited about this next part. This is the Giga Disc. So, wow, if you guys thought the wheel disc weighed a lot, just wait until you feel this one. When you put this one in your hand, automatically you're like, okay, yep, this one is super heavy. And super wide too. Super solid looking. Um, yeah, I can't wait to weigh this one out to compare the weights there. But uh, yeah, looking very promising already. Last but not least, we have the Never Driver. So the Never Driver is free spinning. The point in the center is the free spinning part. That outer ring, the white plastic ring there, is not free spinning, it's just stationary. It's, it's just meant to surround the tip. Uh, but overall, this driver actually looks really short compared to the other drivers. If you have it side by side with some of the other ones, like you will notice a height difference. So very interesting yeah it looks like you just like chopped off the bottom like with a knife or something yeah like from the pictures at the bottom from the pictures it looks like it could have been like something very aggressive you know what i mean like it's just like so flat and so low looking uh and it's not until you look at it like up close you realize there's an actual point there yeah i mean overall though very interesting design for a stamina type very interested to see if it's actually going to be able to you know be aggressive in the stadium if it hits a certain way but yeah, when you put the spade together though, it actually looks very low, especially in the low mode. So yeah, let's put it together and show you guys the two different modes here. Put everything together. So DB chip goes in like that. Then we're gonna start with low mode. So we'll put the armor underneath. So armor underneath is low mode, armor on the top would be high mode. Simple from there, put in your disc, put in your driver. That Giga disc actually has a imprint that says GG on there. Yeah, GG no RE. <laughs> wow guys. Dude, this is like the lowest Ragnarok Bay ever. I don't know. Is it just me? Or does it really just seem like super short? So short. Dude, this is insane. But it does look really nice though. I mean, overall it's a very compact package, you know what I mean? Like this bay definitely weighs a lot. And yeah, it's not over designed or anything like that. It's not like super big. Now we're going backwards, it's like sparking base just went super large and now we're literally going backwards and just making them as small as possible. <laughs> Look at this, it's actually so tiny. Okay, and now let's put it into high mode so you guys can see what that looks like. Unclip. And this is always the tricky part, like these parts here are like usually pretty tight. It's pretty tight in the very beginning at yeah. least. It'll, it oh. should loosen up as you play with it. There you go, and yeah, do a little reverse, right? that there and put this here and there is your high mode so definitely a bit of a gap there right it does increase the height of the bay so this definitely feels more normal now but at the same time still feels like low to my eyes let us know do you guys like the high mode that you're seeing here or the low mode more now let's weigh out some of these parts this is the most exciting part like i'm actually lo really looking forward to seeing how much this disc weighs so we got giga gg 32.89. 32.89. Literally, this disc weighs more than some of those Hasbro bays. Absolutely insane. All right, 32.89, right? It's almost 33. Here is the wheel disc, which was one of the heaviest discs prior to this. From last generation, 30.38. Oh, there you go, guys. We got an upgrade already. Now that we have two different types of armor pieces, let's weigh out six. 
13.3. 13.3, okay. And this is number two from our previous release. 13.67. Oh, okay, so the new one, the six, weighs less than two. Interesting. Okay, let's put on the full combo for our brand new Cyclone Ragnarok. So let's see if there's a bit of an upgrade from the previous Ragnarok Bay. Here is our Glide Ragnarok. 64.98. Nice, solid weight, solid, right? In the 60s, that's good, that's good. The new one, 68.74. Ooh, almost hitting 70 there, and you don't have like, you know, metal driver and stuff like that, you know? Like no crazy super heavy uh, chassis and stuff like that. But the disc itself, Giga, just weighs so much. So okay, test battle time. Three, Three two, one. one. Back to the center again. All right. I love the sound though of the base attacking. So much metal and metal. Three, two, one. Oh, just bursted the new Ragnarok. Three, two, one. Oh, that's Seems like a lot of that stamina that you had is gone already. Okay, it's like my desk hitting you, hey? Because you're so low. <laughs> yeah. So Backwards sick. now. I was hoping for that equalization, but nope. Okay, BPGs, that is it for our unboxing on the Random Booster Volume 25. So let us know what you think of this brand new Cyclone Ragnarok. And of course, what do you think of the rest of the bays too? Um, obviously, these are all kind of just like side character bays, right? We're not really gonna pay much attention to them. But uh, yeah, nice to only have to go through six random boosters. It's actually yeah. really solid. So yeah, let us know. Do you think this is an upgrade? Do you think it's a downgrade? Um, yeah. We're what do you do think of like character? Yeah, exactly. What do you think of Ronzo, right? Um, he's really just like, he may as well just be a, another brother because like the characters are like the exact same. <laughs> they sound the same and everything like that. But yeah, super cool. Um, this stamina type is not too bad. I mean, it seems like a bit of an upgrade compared to the previous Glide Ragnarok, right? We're not going to make fun of it as much. Uh, we'll, we'll see about that. We'll <laughs> that. Alright guys, like this video, subscribe, and as always, Geek's out!